Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Time. Today's movie recap will be a sci-fi and western movie from 2014 called Young Ones. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. In the future, the USA is suffering from a severe drought, making water extremely valuable. Most people have left, but the home family stays because the father, Ernest, believes the plants will regrow if they can find some water. He recalls times when the land was lush, but his son Jerome doesn't remember those days. One day, two thieves attempt to break into a small building on Ernest's farm by burning the lock. Ernest catches them and starts shooting, killing one thief when he tries to retaliate. The other thief begs for mercy, saying he heard there was water there. He reaches for his pants to supposedly pee, but Ernest sees a gun and shoots him first. Jerome, watching from a distance, thinks he could have helped. When Ernest opens the small building, it reveals a pump that unfortunately yields no water. They decide to keep their mule going without water. They then meet the Watermen, a group that controls water distribution through a government deal. Ernest trades supplies for water but warns Jerome about the dangers of upsetting these men. Although Ernest tries to negotiate water for his farm, the Watermen's prices are too high. On their way home, their mule collapses and is in so much pain that Ernest decides to end its suffering by shooting it. Back at the farm, Jerome's sister Mary serves them meals and cleans dishes with soil while Ernest listens to the radio and Jerome sketches animals. Suddenly, Ernest hears a noise and discovers Mary sneaking out to meet her secret boyfriend. The next day, Jerome and Ernest attend an auction at Sam's auction house to bid on a robot named Simulate Shadow, or Sim, to replace their mule. Sam's son Flem also bids, leading to a rivalry, but Ernest ultimately wins. Their debt increases as a result. They visit the hospital to see the children's mother, Catherine, who can't walk due to an accident. She uses a special machine that helps her walk, but buying it to bring her home is expensive. On the way home, they encounter Robbie and Suz with their baby. Ernest dismisses them as beggars, using their child to gain sympathy, but later returns to offer them some water. Robbie and Suz consider selling their baby as they can't afford to raise him, but Ernest advises against it and promises to help them with water. Back at the farm, Flem revealed as Mary's secret boyfriend, asks to borrow Sim and offers to pay rent. Ernest refuses unless Sam signs a guarantee. Offended, Flem threatens Ernest before leaving. Later, Ernest and Jerome meet the watermen again, and thanks to Sim, they make good time. Ernest tries to convince them to install a water line on his farm. Meanwhile, he starts digging out the old pump for the watermen to inspect. He advises Jerome to socialize more, but Jerome prefers to stay and help his family. On their way home, they see Flem speeding past. At the farm, Mary uses a vacuum cleaner to wash clothes, but Ernest forbids her from going out, leading to a heated argument. Mary declares her hatred for Ernest and her love for Flem and attempts to run away. Mary runs into Jerome asking for money, giving Ernest enough time to catch up and stop her. Mary breaks down, accusing Ernest of failing their family, and in response, he locks her up. Later, Ernest and Jerome discover that Sim has been stolen. Ernest suspects Flem and goes to his house, but learns from Sam that Flem had left for the mountains that morning. It turns out that the farm used to belong to Sam, and Flem is obsessed with reclaiming what his family lost, despite Sam believing the land is barren and water won't help. Ernest heads to the mountains to investigate and is suddenly knocked out. He wakes up at the waterman's camp, accused of stealing their supplies with Sim. Ernest denies it, but Caleb, the leader, attacks him. After a fierce struggle, Ernest manages to take Caleb's knife and a rifle, using it to keep everyone at bay as he escapes. On his way home, he finds Flem asleep by a fire with Sim nearby. Flem had stolen the machine and supplies to frame Ernest. Ernest waits until morning to confront him with a rifle pointed at his face, then ties Flem to Sim, who is carrying the supplies, and they walk under the hot sun to find the waterman. Both become extremely thirsty and Flem convinces Ernest to stop for a drink. The supplies contain alcohol, not water, and Ernest gets drunk. Flem pretends to drink while claiming that Caleb wants him dead, so he stole the machine to survive. He even offers Ernest money, but Ernest rejects it. The alcohol affects Ernest, making him dizzy and barely able to stand. Flem takes this opportunity to hit Ernest with a rock, causing him to hit his head on a cliff and fall unconscious. When Ernest wakes up, he's tied to Sim, and Flem forces more alcohol into his mouth. Flem then goes to the farm, and Mary escapes with him on his bike. Worried about Ernest, Jerome decides to look for him. By nightfall, he finds Sim at the waterman's camp where he's told that his father died in an accident with the machine. They have to break the news to their mother. Flem picks them up in his truck and takes them home. At the farm, Jerome angrily starts smashing Sim with a hammer, but Flem stops him. Flem explains that it's tough dealing with grief, but they shouldn't destroy something that earns them money. He offers to take over as the head of the family. He surprises Jerome by revealing that Mary is pregnant. Flem shares his big plans for the farm, and Jerome decides to give him a chance. 
Flem takes supplies to the waterman and convinces Caleb to install a water pipe on the farm. Concerned about the consequences, Caleb agrees to direct water to their land. Soon after, they install a new farm pump and Flem works tirelessly to plant and grow wheat. Flem and Mary get married and tattoo each other's initials on their hands. Flem ponders Ernest's death while he drinks. A few days later, Sam arrives with bank representatives demanding payment for Ernest's enormous debt. Flem scares the horses with his bike to appear tough, and Sam explains that while nobody wanted the land before because of Ernest, the water and crops now make it valuable and the bank can sell it. That means Flem needs to pay or lose the farm. That night, Flem loads Sim on his truck and picks up Robbie and his baby, pretending he needs to check prices, only to sell the baby against Robbie's will. When buyers open fire, killing Robbie, Flem shoots back as he escapes, leaving Sim behind. Damaged, Sim enters homing mode and returns to its factory. The next day, Flem uses the money from selling the baby to pay the bank, but lies that he sold Sim to Robbie. Meanwhile, Sim reaches the city and is found by its builder, Calvin, who contacts the farm. Suspicious, Jerome decides to uncover the truth. Jerome plans to visit his mother, but instead heads to the border, where Anna helps with crossing on a truck full of chickens. In just a few hours, the truck reaches the city, and Jerome sees it for the first time. He meets up with Anna, who takes him to the factory. Before she leaves, Jerome asks if she knows Ernest, but she doesn't recognize the name. Later, Jerome meets Calvin, who shows him all the functions of Sim. Calvin reveals that Sim's cameras are designed to record landscapes for reforestation and have recorded everything. Calvin shows Jerome how to operate it and gives him some privacy. Jerome is moved to tears seeing his father again in the recordings, but is horrified to learn Flem caused his death. It appears Flem tied Ernest to Sim and sent it towards the waterman's camp, making it look like an accident. Overwhelmed, Jerome breaks down. That evening, it rains over the farm for the first time in a decade. Jerome returns home casually, asking Flem how he retrieved Sim, which confuses Flem. He checks the barn, shocked to see Sim undamaged, thinking Robbie brought it back out of guilt. A few days later, Jerome visits Catherine and promises to care for her like Ernest did. One afternoon, Flem and Jerome go hunting to protect their crops. Flem misses every shot and blames the rifle, but Jerome proves it's Flem's poor aim by successfully shooting a deer. They return home, and Jerome hides the rifle in his room. At lunch, Jerome mentions a call from Robbie looking for Flem, upsetting him. Flem storms out after Jerome insists he's telling the truth. The next day, Flem gets a letter from Jerome, pretending to be Robbie, asking him to meet at the cliffs for help. Before leaving, Flem searches for the rifle, but Jerome claims he sent it for repairs since Flem said it was faulty. Flem reluctantly accepts this and apologizes for his outburst. At the cliffs, Flem with a knife calls for Robbie but falls into a hidden pit, breaking his legs. He screams for help, but Sim doesn't understand. Jerome arrives and coldly watches Flem, who begs for mercy, reminding Jerome of his sister and the unborn baby. Flem's pleas only make Jerome angrier, and eventually, Jerome shoots him dead. When Jerome returns home, he lets Mary think Flem abandoned her and keeps Ernest's true fate secret. With the crop profits, they can afford real food, and the siblings agree to buy the machine so Catherine can live with them. Jerome deletes all footage from Sim, ready to start fresh. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care and see you next time.